Imagine prehistoric humans. They must have wondered about everything around them. The sun, the moon, the stars, rain, night and day, changing seasons. Such curiosity must have led to questions and the quest to find answers to these questions led to acquisition of knowledge. As knowledge grew, disciplines emerged. Questions about patterns and relationships led to the creation of a discipline called mathematics. Questions about nature and natural phenomena led to the discipline of science. Questions about our past led to the discipline of history. Questions like who am I and what is my purpose led to the discipline of philosophy. At the heart of each discipline are fundamental questions and frameworks of thinking to find answers to these questions. The way a scientist verifies a hypothesis is different from the way a historian validates a claim. A scientist experiments, empirically observes and the results obtained either verify or invalidate the hypothesis. But a historian cannot empirically observe that which has happened hundreds of years back. So a historian relies on sources, primary and secondary, analyzes their provenance by looking for biases and reliability and validates by triangulation, looking at multiple sources of information to find evidence for the historical claim. Deeper understanding does not happen by simply pouring knowledge down a learner's brain. Passive transmission of information does not lead to true comprehension. Far more important is to empower the learners by helping them become experts in the modes of thinking of a discipline. Think about it. Who do you think will be better off in the long run? A student who mugged up a lot of historical dates and facts? Or a student who has learned to think like a historian and hence, when presented with historical conjecture, is capable of undertaking an unprejudiced claim evidence analysis? More important than learning historical facts is developing historical thinking. As Edmund Burke put it, those who don't know history are doomed to repeat it. Same holds true for other disciplines. A deep understanding of the framework of thinking of that discipline is far more useful than mugging up information without true comprehension. This is especially true in the 21st century when knowledge is available at the touch of a button and far more important than knowing is what you can do with what you know.